Hello YouTube! I am currently live streaming this, although probably not, actually I can guarantee not when you see this, but I will be playing, I'm playing Costume Quest. This is episode 3 of Costume Quest, of the someone who doesn't know what to talk about variety. In the last episode, we he did, we got a couple of battle stamps. As well as played some of the actual gameplay instead of just the intro. And I'm not even paying attention to the camera, although it might look like it. So, time to actually talk about this. First of all, here's your stats, which it's basically it shows which one you're using and what effect it has on HP and... and Attack power. I'm gonna have to change Everett out of the Statue of Liberty. It's a little annoying. Although, actually, maybe not, considering. I don't know. But, got uh, the two battle stamps for Reynolds and Everett. The one that Reynolds has on him allows you to counterattack when you defend against an attack. While Everett allows you to stun a single enemy for one turn. Which is really very powerful. And you know what? I'm going to leave it this way. Leave it with these two. Sorry if the sound's off. I don't know. I can't tell. But, let's see. Ooh, another house. By the way, this is a couple of days after the last episode. So, ooh, might be a little... No, I don't think I'll be rusty. But... I don't know. And, of course, I go against the battle as the first house. I don't- I think I forgot to talk- Oh, crap, two black mages. That's dangerous. I think I forgot to talk about, about something. Although, you know what, I'm gonna demonstrate it anyway. That's one of the other options. Is, well, your control method repeatedly. Oh, and of course, counterattack. And ow. Oops. So I will kill this one, and I'm going to use the extra ability of, of the egg on your face. It stuns an enemy for one turn. Now, unfortunately, if you light them on fire so that they take chip damage every turn, that stops. A little annoying. So, it stops the stun, and if any attack will stop the stun. So, unless you have certain stuns, give it to the person that's last in line. I think it's currently Everett. I think it changes later in the game. Very interesting. So, just doing some trick or treating at houses. Yes, I know, a little out of season. But, gets a little out of season even in game, even with the DLC, which is free with the PC version. Oh, I think I forgot to mention, I am running the PC version of Costume Quest. Yes. Which, which is a f fairly recent addition, sort of, and as a result, I can turn up the graphics much higher than the console versions. Ah. It's funny when they occasionally say, hey, only only take one, because then they give you, like, 50 of them. Oh, and look! A hide-and-seek person! Found three of six. And, of course, once again, smacking mailboxes for candy. Not the best idea in real life, but... In-game, it works just fine! And I have no idea of the passage of time. Later in the game, we'll have to see how much the Let's Play curse 
loves me or hates me because I've never figured I've never actually gotten to the point where the let's play curse would do anything yes little bit of paranoia but it's more like you you're not fully concentrating while you're talking or it's just a luck based thing and it so happens that when you're or doing it you're unlucky while recording but lucky when not recording just random number generator likes to throw little wrenches in those and ah uh, yes let's get rid of the bombardier these are like the among the less threatening bunches of this combo now of course later it changes But the reason why I don't like using the, the robot costume, even though he's awesome in some ways, is that uh, it's special attack, that Y ability, he causes, is, causes the enemies to take the uh, burnt status which damages them every turn and breaks any any regular stuns applied which is a problem when you want to stun them up a little annoying and it's likely in for balance reasons but it's still annoying fortunately later in the game you get one you can get one that uh, goes goes past that and stays stunned later and another house trick or treat of course yeah that's probably a lot of people's attitudes in, on Halloween I'd ra rather watch TV so I want, want to, to leave to get rid of you so that oh yeah of course the gate Eat. Parents? What do you mean get parents? I'll be in trouble! No! No! Not the best idea, kids. But, of course, that is probably pretty logical that they wouldn't believe him. <laughs> and of course, alone, are you coming? Yes. Kinda silly. Forgot to mention that. That's a cutscene you get it when, if you go there before trick or treating at all the houses. Which, yes, you can, and yes, something does happen when you trick or treat at all the houses. I'll get into it in a little bit. Once I've trick or treated all the houses, including the ones past a, a certain character, which will be why we needed to get the. Uh, the cherries from under a tree last episode kind of silly but we'll see it and of course I'm still level two so that and of course he like he'd like to talk and despite them saying that it has to be despite these kids saying that it has to be a patriotic the party if you do this they don't care a knight and a robot they don't care that it's a knight and a robot so long as you already did once stuns are useful in this game that's a thing to remember oh and look a grown-up scary just kidding. And bashing trash cans. And of course, it's a principle. Of course. And the principles um a little annoyed at the not being nice 
She wants an ingredient and for her a pie. Now, where did we get see an ingredient? We already grabbed it last episode. It was the cherries. And obviously we shouldn't get pumpkins because that's too cliche. I think that's pointed out. And of course, the principal's a little bitter. And then if you talk to her, the cherries is that we gave her tested positive for squirrel rabies, which is kind of why we had trouble getting it at first. And, yeah, I suppose that could be a little bad. But the principal was a little manipulative in the way they, in the way they did it. And grown up, one piece of candy each. And if you were paying attention, that was a lot more than one piece. I wasn't paying enough attention. But, that happens when you're speaking in a Let's Play. And of course, Robot. And you know, I'd keep, keep the... You know what, I'm gonna keep the Robot costume on, actually, because it's not like I use the Guardian Shield. So I don't need to worry about it yet. Combined with... Every... Press all the buttons, yay. Has a little bit of an attack power boost, although less HP. There's actually a way to, to restore HP, which we already have. The Y button move of, of the Lady Liberty, the Statue of Liberty costume that Everett's currently wearing. Now, in this case, it might be a little dangerous to use it, and later in the game there are better options but since, since they're currently the stunners could be a little dangerous yeah no and of course remember the B ability of the robot allows you to move faster kind of a, an interesting thing to note and kind of suited for a let's play in some ways because sometimes it drives people nuts when you uh, take your time or you screw up in some way actually it pretty much always is unless as not enough people are watching drives people nuts when you screw up from what I've been able to gather at least Oh, and of course, I'm still level 2 because I haven't fought a monster. Sorry, bumping mics. Ooh, a monster. A grubbin. And a framed shot because they like to do that. Oh, and this is where stuns really come very useful. So I like targeting one thing while stunning the other. Especially the white mages, because the white mages heal. And you know, I can feel myself not concentrating enough. So, and I think it's about time to end the episode. Oh, so, just approaching around 15 minutes. Fortunately, I already have my channel set up to do longer than 15 minute videos but still it would be better and you know what egg on your face onto that one and Y button and stun how stunning bad joke is bad of course. I don't like using Missile Barrage very much just because of the stun strategy. It's really too bad that they are at odds with each other. Now, whenever you level up, you gain in 
attack, knock, HP, max, in, in other words, and more battle stamps to buy. Sometimes pumpkin guts can be kind of fun, but it kind of breaks stuns. Although, I suppose right now that doesn't matter because we don't have two stuns, nor do we have two turn stuns. Later we'll get those and then pumpkin guts won't work very well. So, I'll buy it now. And sure, why not on Bloodshot Eyeballs? Because that's a little weird. Hey, it's Halloween. Yes, I talk. I occasionally talk to myself. Perfect for a Let's Player! Because you're pretty much always talking to yourself. And, oh yes, I forgot. almost forgot to end the episode. So, possibly see you next time? I'd rather enjoy that. And this is Mr. Power 46, finishing the episode. Kinda silly.